Can I get a whole yeah, guys? Oh, yeah! The kamameshi is cooking, which is the stone pot with the rice. And we're gonna eat some nice stone pot rice in a second. Nice, nice light fish with some scallions. Oh, yeah. So now we're gonna take the aji fish. We're gonna do some shabu shabu in the mouth, guys. Mmm. Nice, bouncy, bouncy fish. Good show you. Good and greens. Good, good crab balls. Oh, yeah. Melt in your mouth crab. Nori, maguro, gohan, oshinko, negi. Itadakimasu. Oh, wow. All right, you guys, went in Kyoto, eat some tofu. That's what we're doing. Yum, 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 yum. So in Kyoto, they give you always something called obanzai in the beginning, which is basically panchan or side dishes or appetizers. Yum, 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 yum. Fried tofu skin. Yum, 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 yum. They get the regular buckwheat tofu and the matcha tofu, add a little bit of kombu dashi, Boil it for three minutes and you have delicious Kyoto tofu. Yum, 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 yum. You can taste the soybean so, so strongly. Now in the olden times, and if you were a monk in Kyoto in the temples, this is what you eat because no live animals. There's some controversy that eating tofu makes you gay. Not true. There is a little bit more estrogen in the tofu, but it won't turn you gay, guys. All right, guys, we're out here at Kyoto Kaisekiyori, where it all began, guys, where you eat like an emperor. Banquet-style meals, very delicate, small portions, 15-course meal. Let's get started. Such subtle, light flavors, and that's what Kyoto food is all about. It's all about the presentation and light flavors. Ika, maguro, something. All in a sweet umeboshi sauce or traditional wasabi shoyu. Mmm. Sour, oh yeah. We've got some fish, some duck, some scallop gratin, local source vegetables, seashell, snee shells by the seashore, aji, chicken, Shrimp and cheese, guys. Let's start with the cheese, because this is a very delicate type of cheese, huh? Mmm. Wagyu, wagyu steak, da yo. Little bit of salt. Mmm. Just melting, guys. Mmm. All right, y'all, to finish it off, they always give you some rice flavored with something. This time it's ginger, miso soup, Pickled vegetables, and that's how you know the kaiseki rori is coming to an end, guys, because they fill you up with the starch. Mmm. So, guys, Kyoto food is very, very light flavors, guys. Don't expect to pack a big punch with spices and salts and sugar and everything. It's a very light flavor, and it's all about understanding and appreciating the essence of the food and the umaminess of the dashi, because dashi is in everything as well. It's a very nice acquired taste, maybe even an upper class taste. Huh? You got to get unagi when you go to Kyoto. This restaurant has been around for 500 years and they only serve one thing, guys. Unagi or fresh water eel. It is so delicious, so authentic and such a delicacy here in Japan, especially Kyoto. And they start with a little bit of unagi appetizer just to wet your beak a little. Oh, the beak is wet with the soft, <laughs> soft unagi, silken umami with the pickled cucumbers. I know this is going to be a great meal, guys. The set has arrived. Boom. On a silken, silken egg pillow with some clear, clear broth. And let's see where the unagi is, guys. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. Unagi on a blanket of warm, warm rice with a blanket of egg to keep everything steamed and warmed. Such simple, simple flavor, guys. Mix in one simple bowl. The most perfect unagi bite. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. This is real unagi, guys. A lot of people sell fake unagi, but you can tell it's real. Tiny, tiny bones that you just chew right through. Soft, soft unagi. The taste of the charcoal and the grill is there. Let's try the egg, too. Mm. Guys, the fried egg soaks up the unagi flavor, too. What a delicious, delicious bowl, guys. And now a lunchtime by the river. Can't get any better. Here we are, guys. Dinner time. Can't get any better with the little lanterns and the little river. I look so good with my beautiful wife right here. Kind of makes you have to pee by listening to all this shh, but it's okay. Some carp sashimi straight from the river down below. you guys are you fish or seasonal water fish only around the Kyoto area my grandpa's favorite fish but he can't get it because he lives in Tokyo he's got to travel all the way to Kyoto to get it deer meat chawamishi or deer meat and steamed egg dang guys this is the nabe or the hot pot right here in the coffee filter and look at the marbling folks Look at that marbling for the Wagyu. Oh, man. Melt in your mouth. Beef. Ooh, so good. Guys, the meal always ends with some rice, some pickles, and some red miso. You have to get... Ooh, my hair. You have to get warabi mochi when you come to Kyoto. They're super, super famous for their mochi. Mm. Mm. Red bean warabi mochi, very, very melty in your mouth, oozy, sweet, cold, delicious. I eat the paper with my chopsticks. <laughs> Melt straight in your mouth. The sesame powder and the sweet, sweet glaze on top. You gotta try kushikatsu when you come to Kyoto. Very, very delicacy where they deep fry many different things and you eat it with some sauce. So delicious, y'all. Mm. Fresh, fresh, bouncy shrimp. You might hide Look how small this is, guys. <laughs> I breathed in the spices. But it's really good. <coughs> Chicken with caviar. Finish the meal with tamago kake gohan. You know this ramen shop is legit because there's only 10 seats in here and there is a line out the door on 2 p.m. at lunch, guys. So come here to get clam ramen. Clam, folks. First, try the broth, y'all. Ooh. Very, very clammy. Very umami. Tastes like the ocean. Let's see if the noodles hold up. It's good. Mm, perfectly, perfectly al dente noodles. Mixed with the rich ocean clam broth. Oh yeah. You gotta try this. It's not your normal ramen. Mm. 